Hello everyone. So let's try to solve this particular problem. And this problem is uh, from the CSIR NET 2024 June examination. And this is question ID number 705030. So this is one of the very nice question, very conceptual. So what is given? There is a probability density is given. And this is probability density function is given and which is very nice function, which will be the average of Dirac delta at x is equal to a as well as x is equal to minus a. So this is given. And what we have to do, we have to just calculate what is the variance of this particular uh, density, density function. Variance of x we have to just talking about and x is nothing but the random variable. So it's, they should give that x must be random variable. So uh, let's try to solve this question. This is a straightforward question if you know the basic concept. So let's try to go for this one. So what we have to do, we have to just uh, try to solve this problem and uh, let's try to solve it. So what is my probability density? My probability density is all about Px. So this Px is nothing but half of uh, delta x minus a plus delta x plus a. And we have to find the variance. So we, if we, we have to find the variance, that means we, we have to find the expectation value of x square minus expectation value of x whole square. So first we will go for finding the average value of x. So average value of x is nothing but minus infinity to plus infinity x px dx. So this is formula for average value of x. And when you will go for this particular thing and you will find this is just a odd function or you can just calculate it also. So what you will get? You will get minus infinity to plus infinity x and that value is equal to delta x minus a plus delta x plus a and half is outside there. So what you will take? You will take half. And when you are going to integrate between minus infinity to plus infinity, you can find x is equal to a as well as x is equal to minus a within the limit. So what will going to happen? This integration is half a plus minus a. So you can get this value. So this value is 0. So this is average value is 0. And you can also see that uh, this, this uh, uh, distribution is almost symmetric between uh, about x is equal to 0. So it should be average value must be 0. So but you can solve it. So let us try to calculate the average value of x square so that we can find the variance. So what will happen for the again we have to calculate average value of x square and when we are going to calculate average value of x square that is minus infinity to plus infinity x square and uh, the formula is all about this thing this value is equal to minus infinity to plus inf x square and probability dx. And this value is equal to 1 by 2 and we will go from minus infinity to plus infinity x square and that value is delta x minus a plus delta x plus a and dx must be there. And when you are going to calculate this particular thing, then you will get a square plus minus a whole square that is nothing but equal to what a square so this is your a square will be your average value of x square and now we can get the variance and this variance is nothing but average value of x square minus average of x whole square so this value is equal to a square minus 0 that is a square so it's a very quite easy question the question option a is the correct one and uh, you can solve this problem in a very nice way except you have to know what is the basic property of Dirac delta function. Thank you.